place called again? Laughing Leopard? Laughing Leopard Hostel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Laughing Leopard Hostel. Already met some really cool people, but my stomach is growling, so I need to get some food. And just, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I had uh, Kotu for the first time. Delicious food, so I was asking him where I can get some more, and he recommended a restaurant, so I'm gonna go hop in the Tuk and go get some Kotu. Let's do it. All right, hop into the Tuk. Just made a new friend. What's her name again? Emily. Emily. Cool. Emily, where are you from? Oh, sweet. So, Emily's staying here. She just checked in as well. And we are really hungry, so we're gonna go get some kotu. Let's do it. So we came to a restaurant called Temperadu, which is right next to Victoria Park. And right here, I'm very excited, because I have this very famous dish in Sri Lanka called kotu and it's basically made from roti. Roti is uh, flour and egg mixed together and what they do is they chop it all up and they mix it with egg and this one is special because this one's made with cheese and masala spice so I was told that typical kotu is not made with cheese so this is a special dish so I'm really excited to try this for the first time. Let's see how my taste buds react to this. Oh yeah, Let's give it a go. <laughs> It has a nice little kick, enough spice to where you feel it, you taste it in your mouth, but it's not burning and hurting my mouth, which <laughs> some foods do here, so that's really nice. And just the consistency is really good. Most food here is used with rice, but this is not rice, it's just a, a flour base, so so delicious. And it's made with egg and that flavor is so good. I'm gonna enjoy this, so we'll see you somewhere else. <laughs> Hi. How much for some peanuts? Yeah, yeah. How much? 100 rupees. 100 rupees. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye bye. So, one of my favorite things to do when I get to a new town is just to walk and explore. So, we were just walking around and we followed people that were walking to this area and found a little market. So, first thing, first order of business, we gotta buy some bananas. <laughs> We're all set. We got nanners. We're ready for the day. Unexpected adventure. We were just walking around the town and said we should just follow some people. It looked like a bunch of people going in one direction, so we just followed them and that led us to the market. That market was much bigger than I was expecting. At the beginning they were selling everything, but then it was at the end it was mostly fruits and vegetables and we got some bananas. So we're all set. Now we're gonna go back to the hostel and chill out for a bit. All right, we got some people chilling outside, hanging out, and now we have some lovely ladies cooking up some family dinner. <laughs> What's your name? Melanie. What is it? Melanie. Melanie? Yeah. And where are you from? Germany. Cool. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. From the States. From New York. From New York, cool. Yeah. And one more. Ba, 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 one more chef right here. What's your <laughs> name? Where are you from? What is it? Lava. From? Germany. Cool. Yeah. Whipping it up. <laughs> Our chef's back here. Beautiful. Can I say something though? In Italy, we don't do this. Yeah. We mix it in one pot. Yeah. That's a German way for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone just got a little bit of Alright, these are these are our tuk tuk passengers for the day. 
Can you introduce yourself, your name, where you're from? I'm Julian from Switzerland. Cool. And I'm Silvia from Switzerland. Awesome. <laughs> and one more? And I'm Gianluca from Italy. All right. And we also have two more over here on the bike. Well, we're, Emily. Yeah, Emily, we already met her yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your name, where are you from? I'm Sean. I'm from, yeah, Sri Lanka. Awesome, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, we're going to Ramboda Falls. Let's hit it. minute drive mostly downhill that is gonna be <laughs> really fun driving back uphill it's funny because I haven't driven with three passengers yet so the weight of more people really makes a difference in a tuk-tuk so that's gonna be fun driving all the way uphill back home but anyway for now we made it to the waterfall I think this is hello Hi. <laughs> once you arrive here you have to pay an entrance fee of 50 rupees and then you can hike up more to the top, so let's go see what's up there. Woo. Just hiked for about 15 minutes. It came first to a viewpoint to see this epic waterfall. It's 109 meters tall, and there's also a little pool at the bottom. So first we're gonna hang out up here, and then we're gonna go down and swim in the pool. And the view from this point we're at right now is just incredible. You can see so much. Made it to the bottom of the falls. This is incredible. It was such a cool walk getting over here too, because you kind of gotta walk on some of these rocks. It's very slippery, so be careful if you come here. But it's very well worth it because look at that. What a beast! All right, now it's time to go for a little swim. So let's switch over to the GoPro. Such a cool spot and the water is so cold and pretty hot out right now so it's very refreshing. One of the coolest parts is we've been here alone almost the whole time. Just about five minutes ago another family just came but we've been here for over an hour already just hanging out and enjoying this beautiful nature. But now we're gonna hike back, get to our tuk-tuk, drive all the way back up the mountain, probably find somewhere else for lunch so we'll see you later. Hey, we just made it to a place called Adma Agro Strawberry Farm. This place is recommended by the guys who run our hostel. So let's go check it out and learn some things about strawberries. This is where they grow the strawberries here. And it looks like they've all been picked, except one. I see one strawberry out of this whole thing. One right here. <laughs> Ta-da! One strawberry. Hello! I got some fun facts about strawberries for you. Did you know that one serving of strawberries, about eight strawberries, is greater, or well, has more vitamin C than one orange? And did you know that strawberries actually aren't really berries? And they aren't really fruit either. It's just an enlarged receptacle of the flower. <laughs> the more you know. Touch. Inside here they have a shop where you can buy a bunch of different strawberry food items. So maybe we can go get some strawberry things.
So they also have a shop here where you can buy strawberry products. And I got a strawberry milkshake. It's fresh. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Boom. And she, right here, she got some chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh, taste test. Very delicious. Be did you say berry delicious? Yes, very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so one last fun fact for you before we leave the strawberry farm. And this one's actually about me. When I was a child, I was allergic to strawberries. But now I'm not, because I am a freaking warrior and I grew out of that. <laughs> uh, but now we're getting ready to hop back in the good old Tookie Tuck mobile. Gonna go back to the hostel and chill out for a while. And uh, yeah, we, I mean, the guys who run our hostel highly recommended we come to the strawberry farm. And to be honest, it was a little underwhelming. There's a little tiny strawberry farm in these greenhouses right here and then a little shop where you can buy some strawberry stuff, which if you like strawberry flavored food, then great, come here. But if you don't, then I wouldn't worry about skipping this. So that's just my honest opinion, but let's keep going. We'll see you somewhere else. Hello. <laughs> All right, my time has come to leave this beautiful town of New Orleans. I had a great stay here. There are also a few things I haven't done around here, so if you're interested in coming here, I got a list of recommendations that the guys from this hostel told me to do around here that I never got to do. One, Horton Plains is a huge national park. There is an entrance fee of around 3,500 rupees though. Um, I didn't get to go there. I really want to go there. I'm not going to make it on this trip, but maybe I'll come back to Sri Lanka to experience that. Um, also, Single Tree Hill, that looks like a good viewpoint around here. Bombarella Waterfall, it's another really nice waterfall. Yesterday we went to uh, Ramboda Falls. I really was interested in going to Ramboda Falls because I have this bad boy right here and it was about an hour drive and it's not easily accessible and transportation can be kind of expensive to get out there so having a tuk-tuk was really convenient. By the way, if you are interested in coming to Sri Lanka, Tuk Tuk Rental is the company that I got this from. And they just set me up with a promo code. So if you are interested in driving a Tuk Tuk around Sri Lanka yourself, check out the link in the description below and that'll bring you to their website. And when you go to their website, you can use the code Steve Yallo, one word, for a 5% discount. Boom, boom, boom. Enjoy that discount. Back to what I was saying. Some other things you could do around here. Um, Kandapola, apparently that's a really cool town just to go and walk around. I think it's like 30, 40 minutes away from here. Again, didn't make it there, but that leaves me stuff to do next time I come back. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there's so many other things to do around here, but I'm gonna keep on going with this journey because I only have like five days left. Five more days in Sri Lanka. I don't wanna leave, but I also wanna explore more things. So it's time to hop up and Rosie McTook pants over here and uh, hit the road. Gonna be going to a place called Knuckles Mountain Range. Gonna be staying there for probably only one night and maybe doing some hiking, trekking, swimming in some rivers and waterfalls and adventures. So I'd love to bring you along on that journey, but that's gonna be in the next episode. So if you're not already, click that subscribe button, drop a like, and uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Did you like it? Did you think it was poop? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for me. Sayonara, I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.